Hi, these are guys who uh, I think you're off the air. Area 51. Ridiculous. Now, they weren't across the line. There's no reason for this overreaction. Now, we're going to get into a lot of details of people talk about this video, about the camera dudes to say they think it's fake. There's all kinds of things. We're going to get into that, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is completely insane. These guys never crossed the line. They're on public land. Now, what do you think would happen if me and a couple guys went to the camo dude to like to chase you guys around on the on the public side and we pulled a gun out on them? What do you think would happen to us? Yeah. You got anything on you? No? No, sir. I mean, they're literally patting them down. These guys have no authority. that base zero authority off that base they have no authority okay they have zero authority to do this i know there's some people like no they have to. these are people who do not understand the founding principles of this country how it was founded and why we have the constitution but let's just pretend let's, let's keep going we're just adventure travelers. We're just we're just adventure travelers. Yeah, this is an adventure they won't forget. <laughs> they are adventure traveling, aren't they? That's horrible. Is adventure traveling? Yeah. Turn around. Turn around. We're down the alien. They said, "Come on, Stuart, while we're asking." Yeah. Yeah, that's what everybody does. You're gonna go past the line. Because so I've heard a lot of people, a lot of like, you know, couch warriors and keyboard warriors talking about, I would have done this and I would have done that to these guys. But you know what? When you are sitting there behind two loose cannons, these guys are clearly loose cannons. Who? The, the camera oh, dudes. Oh, yeah. And these guys are American citizens. For as far as I know, we still have a constitution. We still have a bill of rights. We still have all these things. I know most people don't understand that. Or a lot of people, they, they leave ridiculous comments, think that the government can do whatever they want to people. But we still have those things, right? Yeah. You can't just go and hold people at gunpoint. If you have two crazy guys that seem completely whacked out of their mind, like these two camo dudes are, and we're going to get into who the camo dudes are. So if you guys are wondering, we're going to get into that because there's a lot of misinformation yep. about this story. A lot of people give these guys a lot of crap about this, about them, how they reacted. That camo dude is literally looking for a reason to like, to get these guys. I knew you should. I, I knew. I know. Listen, we're going to give you guys a chance. Oh, we're going to give him a chance. You know what he's doing? He's not giving you a chance. He knows he's in the wrong. We used to have done this and called the Lincoln County Sheriff. He went and checked how yeah. close they were. They no, were but across the Here's a problem. First of all, look at this border right here. Look at this. I mean, is that really supposed to be secure? There's no fence going across. Think if you're a tourist from another country and you can't even read that sign and you're just traveling on public land and you go past that, you're going to have no clue. What kind of idiot was going to build a secure base without actual a barrier. There's no barrier there. No. I mean, so what is the point of this? This is like ridiculous. I can't even believe this happens in America. This is like insane to me that these guys, American citizens, would be treated this way. It's just ridiculous. I mean, look at the border. There's no freaking barrier right there for them. Not to, to, you could just drive right by. I mean, I many times when we visited this exact spot, I've worried about actually driving by these signs because it's that easy to do. Thanks, get the f out of here. We'll call Lincoln County. You know, right call. That's what I would have called. Call Lincoln County. Lincoln County's crooked too. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry for the hassle, guys. We're just we're just travelers. My bad. All right, let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> They're ready to beat it. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's just uh, important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold his arm out and give that guy a freaking one arm. Bah! Knock him around. His... <laughs> He's like racing to go help. He's like, don't worry, I'll help you. Oh, is the other guy still over there? Yeah, he's still there. What the heck? I didn't notice that. Oh my god. All right, so this was the last video. Second to last. Well, this is the second. Or third right. to last. Third to last now? I How mean, many videos did they produce after this? They probably only produced two after this. But they were related to this one, right? Yeah, they were, well, one was like a gear review, and then the other one was an extended version of that, which is basically multiple points of view. And then they completely dropped off. Yeah, their social media accounts went silent, their domain expired, and they don't respond to anyone asking yeah, if they're okay. Exactly. They're just like gone. 
Yeah, yeah, they're completely gone. So they disappeared. And so what we're going to do here, guys, we're going to dig into this. We're going to yes, figure out what yes. happened to them. We're going to also go through their comments. Uh, let's just talk about what we think happened to them. Well, there, first of all, there was a lot of talk that this video was fake. Yes. A lot of talk. A lot of comments in their thing was talking about them being fake. One of the top comments. One of the top comments, they were pretty much just skewered by, like, everybody was just piling on. Before we go on, we got to back up because I re just realized that we did not mention who who they are who's mac adventures they're a father and son youtube channel they were on a like eight thousand mile road trip yes but their, their final destination was area 51 yeah but their adventure travels they really are that's yeah. what they do they stay they, they he did. wasn't lying he wasn't lying yeah that's what they did then after that they disappeared right yeah, that but was the last one time. thing they did do and this led to a lot of theories that like they got arrested or killed is they pushed the boundaries like crazy you ready Ready? Should I? Whoa! Should I? Should I? Whoa! Oh, here we go. Ready? We're gonna do a hop. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, oh, oh. Come back. Come back. Too fast for you. Sorry, buddy. Too fast for you. Uh oh, there's a laser on my chest. Dudes! <laughs> oh no! Yes, they were always like testing the boundaries, but. I mean, it's a porous, it's like, it's not secure. You guys saw that fence. There's no yeah. fence. There's like no fence. fence there. Just a couple of signposts. So the whole idea is just ridiculous. So let's talk about what we think may have happened to them before we start to dig in and do some research. Yes. I think what happened is they just quit. They just said, you know what? There's all these negative comments. I mean, they, look at their comment section. It's negative comment after negative comment. And we're going to address those comments because those comments are actually very wrong. And I want to mention that we actually enjoyed watching their Area 51 content. I did, at least. I like watching too. their Area 51 content. Sorry, I actually might have touched the microphone. Might have heard a little noise there. Dang. Anyways, so we, they had some good content, guys. But let's talk about it. Let's go over the, the, each of their comments that they actually have. And let's debunk the comments that were just that were like really just talking a lot of crap about them. Let's start by looking at the most common comment they got that this content is fake. Fakey McFakerson. They're, those are not real soldiers, and the behavior in the video reeks of a bunch of buddies making a video for fake YouTube points. What the heck is a YouTube point? I don't know what a YouTube point is, guys, but... Um, I, I want some points. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get some points? Can we get some YouTube get some points? points? YouTube points. He's got some insider. He must work for YouTube. Okay. Anyways... <laughs> So is it fake? Oh, uh, guys, I don't want to say guys. Do you Peace. realize, do you realize what would go into faking this video? But there's more. Let's read some more of the fake comments before we move on, just so we can just knock Address them all out. All yeah. Them. This is fake. Camo dudes don't come until you go far past the line. Camo dudes also can't show their face or they'll be fired. I think it is, um... No, I think it pulls over. Yep, it's a... It is, guys. It's just a camo dude. Okay. Okay. I want to know where this this rumor started, and I want to have some proof. If you think that the camo dudes can't show their faces, they're fired. First of all, there's this. There's, That's never been verified. There's no. It's just a rumor. Can you provide some documentation of that, please? Just put it on. Who said that? Sally. Sully the noob. Yeah. So Sully, we're waiting for you to show us the proof that they can't. That we hear this a lot too. That they get fired if their face is shown. We've never ever never been, able been find verified any evidence to provide that to prove that point. Super fake. That guy is too overweight to be in the military. Plus, he didn't shave. Plus, the truck did not have front plates. All government vehicles have front plates have front back plates that saves front back plates front and they meant front and back plates. i think so I, uh, what that saves that saves government oh that's that the government's been government. saved <laughs> who's this guy who's this freaking this guy Dr. Oh, and the, these guys <laughs> these guys are definitely insiders and they have inside intel they're talking in a different language dr wee wee is, dr. Wee -wee is in a different language now okay all right so we have all kinds of things going on first of all they're saying it's fake it's not fake guys it's not fake do you know what what would go into faking that? They would have to get. First of all, we've been to the location where this actually went down, and yeah, you can go there location. too. So here we are. This is the exact location where those two bikers were held at gunpoint. How about we give you the GPS coordinates in the description, and you go there and see if it's fake. If you think this video is fake, it's we've not fake. been there. Um, a lot of other YouTubers have been there too. Just go ahead and look around. It's a secret back gate. Also, I think someone called the the Black Water Tank Road. I, I could actually give you the road name, but I'm just gonna put the GPS coordinates because if you think it's fake, down there in the description. Go out there and film it and show us how it's fake. But let's just pretend in this fantasy world that they made up this movie set. I mean, and hired actors. This is what I understand. When people see a YouTube video taken off, they think that 
the creator knew that this video was going to be a hit. You know, if that were true, then every single video they upload would be gold. They would have millions of subs, I mean, views on every single video. We don't know which videos they're going to take off. We don't know if this video will get a thousand views or a million views. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, we just have no clue. And to say that camo dudes don't go, come until you go far past the line, we've been to Area 51 like a million times. And yes. they show up, as soon as you get close to that little spot, they show up and we'll show some clips right yes, now. Yes, right now. Let's show them the video. Showing up. Yep. Okay, so now you see that they show up multiple times. They follow you around on public land. Yeah. Th this this comment was talking about who was who said this one? This is Doctor Wee Wee. <laughs> is that Doctor Wee Wee? Who said yeah. too fat? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So he was too thick. Okay. All right. Doctor Wee Wee says he's too thick to be in the military. Yeah. Guys, and I've heard this a lot. These guys aren't military. These guys aren't military. Well, guess what? You're right. They're literally not military. Yeah. They're now, not. Let's, let's show a, an article from the law. I think it's Las Vegas Review or something. We'll find it. We'll just post it up here when we find it. Boom. It showed you that these guys are government contractors and actually went yeah. on strike at one time. They are government contractors. Think Blackwater, that kind of stuff. I think the Not last one was military. EEG, a security. I believe that was the company that they were working for back then. They're not military. No, debunked. So they're debunked. not military. So stop acting like they're military. This is a good, a good comment thread. <laughs> it says, I love how people say this is fake. They clearly don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, I agree with that comment. Bingo says, so do you. <laughs> Ooh, got him. So do you? Oh my God, dude, he was got good. Oh. <laughs> and then Rice, Rice says, it's fake because they wore no ID and had an unmarked car. Mm. Uh, well, I think we've addressed that. Yeah, and Pasta Brew, and Pasta Brew says, yeah, that's sort of what private contractors do, you effing brain dead chip. Well, that, he went a little hard on that him. That was a little harsh. A little harsh, a little harsh, but he's right. He's literally right. That's what private contractors do. Ian is 100% or I am. That, I am impossible. Oh, yeah, I am. Sorry, guys. I'm a little far away from the screen. So, <laughs> so that I can't Hold read. Up. Closer. Anyways, and I'll have to share a little story with you real quickly about the littler, shorter little guy that pulled out with a gun. I actually almost 100% believe, I'll say 99.9% .9 believe, I ran into that guy at the gas station. And uh, it's not, it's, there's the uh, Alamo and there's this, the little one right next to it. What's that one called? But anyways, it doesn't matter. In Alamo gas station i was there i had my snake boots on they looked you know they stick out he parked right next to me he was getting gas he asked me some quick he asked him he asked me he some asked questions me some he asked me some questions okay, so there's the random helicopter as we're talking yeah, about yeah guys we have a random helicopter flying over our house we're like moving all over we're doing bumpers yeah so when i was at this gas station i talked to this guy we ended up leaving and i was telling him when i got in the car i said i recognize that guy from somewhere i don't know who he was she was like who is that i'm like i don't know but I recognized him, guys, and then I realized it was the same freaking guy that pulled that those two guys over. I'm almost positive of that. Anyways, sorry to get sidetracked. That's just another proof to me that that wasn't fake. But it's not fake. Just go there. All right, so I want to mention that we tried to find his website. It's gone. Their website is completely gone. The, it's the domain expired. The domain expired. Twitter's still up. They're old, they're old Twitter, original Twitter. Instagram is still up, but none of this has been updated in at least a year and a half since mid-2017. And they don't answer anybody, They right? don't know. There's a lot, tons of questions on their, their YouTube, about, their Facebook, saying, are you guys okay? You guys totally disappeared. All right, so here's this here's, Instagram. This is a personal Instagram, though, right? This is. And then so we're blurring we, his name, guys. You're going to see it as blurred yeah. because we don't want to dox him. No. Um, basically, we just want to figure out what happened. So why don't we take his time? Why don't we message him and ask him what happened? Yeah, let's slide we'll up in his DMs. Yeah, let's tell him that we are making a uh, video. Okay, so his last post on Instagram, right, was like on February 20th, 2017, which was not too long after that last video yeah. on their YouTube channel. So he disappeared off his personal Instagram for a while. Okay, and then Garrett reappeared in August 2017. He said some interesting things, I think. He said, I know it's been a minute, lots has changed, but I haven't. And overall, life is just fine. And then, after that, he posts something else which makes it sound like life was not fine. Yeah, what did he post? He posted, like, kind of like an end of the year. This was posted on December 21st, 2017, like an end of the year thing. And he said, as I look back on my year, I realized that through all the negativity and the ups and downs, there was true progress. This past year, I found myself questioning my life decisions and easily losing sight of where I wanted my life to be five years from now. I regret nothing. Forgiveness sounds easy, but for who I am and what I have become, it has consistently been 
been a struggle of mine. I will forgive myself for the thoughts that I have had and will forgive myself at the same time that I thank myself for who I will become. I think what we're going to do is we're going to send him a message and just see, ask him, you know what I mean? If, yeah. What happened? Well, a lot of people are interested. A lot of people are asking us. We're making a video on it. Let's do it. What, what, what do we Go do it. When did you last post on here? September 2018. Yeah. Welcome to the feed, you guys. Hey, crazy. can you follow crazy. us back? We would like to send you a DM. We should say we're making a video about We are Lee. making a video. Thank you. All right, guys, so there you go. We sent that out to them. We're going to wait and see if he gets back to us. If not, I guess uh, we can just speculate. So yep. we're either going to figure out exactly what happened or we're going to speculate. We know that, that the son is alive, and I'm hoping his dad is alive. And yeah. I'm hoping that they're okay, hoping the dad's okay. I mean, this government, I don't know, guys. I don't know what they could have. I mean, they may have put these guys That's to hell. That's what a lot hell. of people think. I mean, seriously, the government, the government, the government <laughs> leaves a lot open to speculation. But I do, like, you know, acting crazy. I mean, they act crazy at Area 51. They do, yeah. I want to address that. You know, it's really bizarre because they act so crazy like that and they held two guys at gunpoint. And you got the state of Nevada has a, a sign that says extraterrestrial highway. They're like literally telling people to come there. They're trying to get tourism. Yeah. Go to Alamo. They sell all kinds of stuff for aliens and stuff. Go to the freaking little alien inn. All these, they have the alien research center out there. They have yeah. all this stuff pulling people there like a magnet. What I'm saying is there's a lot of corruption in this government. There's a lot of corruption out there in Area 51. You got poor, like, people like these guys. They're just trying to go out there. They're just trying to have fun and produce really adventure good content. Travel. Seriously, they really are adventure travelers. That's all they were doing. Sure, they, you know, they would, you know, push the boundaries a little bit. But you got to realize the base is, like, 20 miles past these little gates that aren't even gates. There's no fences. All there are are two signs on the side of the road. If you're going out there at nighttime and you didn't have an adequate lighting, you would blow right past those signs and not even know it. Now, if there's something so secure out there that's so freaking secure, why aren't there freaking fences along the whole entire perimeter of this base? Ask yourself that. That's why me, personally, I think it's just a big, yeah, it's a big diversion of what something else is happening somewhere else, but they're just wanting you to go there that, that's all that makes sense to me but anyways yeah. let's see what happens let's see if he gets back to us all right until like like we, we hear back we'll give him a 24 hours i like hours. that point of view my right, guy guys. i like that point of view get that get that get that i like that point of view all right you guys so, so let's so get into this later, quick. Guys. it's been two about two days now yeah. two days we have not heard anything back Aaron no back. and he's been active he's been following accounts he's been liking pictures and we'll show you right now so he's seen the message he's choosing to not reply he just doesn't want to talk to us yeah we don't know why i mean who knows i mean he's just like who are these people but it seems to be a common theme that after they went missing after they completely abandoned their vanished channel from YouTube. and vanished from their other social media platforms that they stopped answering because like they used everybody. to answer people well i mean let's go over some of the theories maybe he just doesn't want to talk to us we're not that important we're just the woo crew that's so all maybe he's like, who are these people? I don't want to talk to them. So let's talk about theories. Should we go over some yeah. theories? All right, let's go with the basic theory that they just quit their YouTube. They just decided, you know what, you guys, we don't want to do YouTube. We don't want to do social media. That doesn't make sense, though. No, because they were working really hard on their channel. And they had plans to go back to Area 51. Yeah, and they actually had to answer somebody. Exactly. They said they were going to go back. That was before they disappeared. So I say they did. That's not what happened. No. Next theory is the toxic comments. Which is possible, I think. A lot of people can't really handle the toxic. toxic. Yeah, a lot of people can't handle the toxic comments on YouTube. Trolls cause a lot of people to quit that are actually produce really good content. Yeah. So that's a shame. So why don't you guys pause the video right now, go over to his channel, and show him some nice comments, guys. Go over there and tell him, hey, where are you guys? We're hoping love. you're good. We hope you guys are okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, another comment. Here's another theory I have. Okay. Maybe the government silenced them. And I know that sounds like crazy conspiracy stuff but that's what a lot of people think a lot of people say that exact thing it, does, it seems like it's it's pro probably a possibility wouldn't you say because i mean they literally went silent after that video and made big news and they disappeared they disappeared of social media and maybe them. they're told that they can't discuss it with anybody the area 51 stuff maybe they're literally been told maybe there's more that they know that they never told anybody that's, yeah that's maybe they found out some stuff about area 51 that nobody else knows and the government is like literally violating their rights i mean it's, it's happening so basically 
We don't know. It remains we don't know. a mystery. It remains a mystery. Why don't you guys go in the comments below and tell us what you guys think? Yeah, what do you think happened to them? Why do you think they don't answer anybody about Area 51? Not just us. Like, anybody. Yeah, they don't answer anybody. And why do you think they disappeared right after that video? I mean, that was like their largest video that they've ever had. Yeah, why would you quit after you just had the largest The hit biggest on your hit. Channel? Like, everybody was waiting for their next video. Yeah. Maybe uh, Area 51. I mean, then also we found out that he sold all his motorcycles except for one. Yeah, and which is in parts. It's not even he came and use it that's true he sold all his motorcycles so and they love doing that stuff him and his dad i mean maybe there was some other issues okay, maybe some other theories maybe one of them got sick i mean uh, that's a possibility yeah but that doesn't explain why you would ignore people yeah exactly nothing seems to explain why they would ignore people i have no idea why they would just suddenly start ignoring people so i'm, I'm interested to hear what you guys think in the comments below at least we know that they're alive emma did some more digging and she did find out that the father had posted a review on amazon yeah so he's a, he's alive so he's alive thankfully he's alive we're happy to hear that they're alive we don't know why they're ignoring people my only opinion is they were silenced i mean it just sounds crazy i know i mean i'm not sitting there saying like oh yeah that's a, that sounds crazy i mean don't you think that sounds kind of nuts <laughs> doesn't it i think it sounds crazy yep but i think that's what happened because i mean there's nothing else to explain why they are not talking to anybody i was an adventure traveler i love traveling around on my motorcycle and now i've sold on my motorcycle something happened to these guys i just something had to have happened hopefully yeah. they, they will uh oh yeah if there's any updates, guys, if we get any updates from him, if he does respond to us, it'll be in the pinned comment. Yep, it'll be in the pinned comment. If it's not in the pinned comment, he has not responded. No updates. All right, smash that like button. Do smash some other it. stuff. Kick it. What else? Punch it. Comment below. Yep. Like the video. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. You won't be able to find our videos if you don't subscribe. You won't be able to be the first. Nope. Bye-bye. All right, guys, we're out. Later. <laughs> Peace.